In June this year, the Boundary Commissions of Ghana and Côte d'Ivoire jointly held activities from the 7th to the 10th of June to commemorate African Border Day. The joint celebration was part of efforts to strengthen the relationship between the Boundary Commissions of the two countries. The day was also used to observe the Green Ghana Day. A second meeting was held in Abidjan from the 23rd to the 25th August. The joint technical meeting in Accra from the 29th November to the 1st December is to, among others, review and validate operating documents for the joint Ghana Côte d'Ivoire Technical Committee as well as the subcommittees working on the implementation of the eight loss ruling in 2017. National coordinator of the Ghana Boundary Commission, Major General Yuanokutia, says the meeting is a follow-up of the Nogra meeting in Abidjan where a conversation on, on how to affirm the land borders of the two countries and implementation of the eight loss ruling. This meeting is a follow-up of the inaugural meeting in Abidjan where we started a conversation on how to be able to reaffirm our land boundaries and to make a follow-up on the Itlus ruling so far as our maritime boundary is concerned. In this meeting, we are aiming to come out with a framework that will guide us in the, the implementation of the Itlus ruling. On land boundaries, we are hoping that we will come out with ideas in which we should be able to reaffirm all land boundaries within the next five years. So that, that is clearly the key objective so far this meeting is concerned. In addition, we have, the two boundary communities have realized that we have some river bodies that, sh that serve as common boundary between Ghana and Togo. Now there have been a lot of illegal mining going along those roads. So we want to also facilitate our security agencies from both sides to intervene in stopping this illegal mining that is going because it is helping one to distract the water bodies which is providing drinking water to communities along the boundaries. Deputy Minister of Lands and Natural Resources in charge of lands and forestry, Benito Usubiu says he's optimistic the ongoing joint technical meeting between the Ghana Boundary Commission and the Côte d'Ivoire Boundary Commission will be able to develop an action plan for the implementation of the International Tribunal for the law of the sea, it was ruling. And we have uh, the boundary pillars along our uh, land boundaries. There are some of them that are old, some which have been through uh, weather and other human activity are misplaced. There's the need for us to jointly make sure that we collaborate to bring them back and position them on the exact locations where they used to be. He also stated the two countries are collaborating to completely eliminate illegal mining, which is polluting water bodies in some border communities. Today's mention of Galamse or illegal mining has to do with where uh, we have mining illegally on the water bodies, especially rivers like the Tano and the Brubabia, which uh, flows in between the two countries. Yes. The devastating effects of the rivers affect both countries. The river flows downstream into La Côte d'Ivoire and upstream from Ghana. Yes, uh, they've, shown, they've also voiced out their concern, just like us in Ghana. We are also not happy and we are making sure that we would uh, be able to address the issue of illegal mining, especially on the river bodies. You are aware, as we speak now, uh, river guards have been trained uh, the government has procured speedboats and uh, soon they are going to start operation and monitoring of the river bodies. Speaking through a translator, the Executive Secretary of the Côte d'Ivoire Boundary Commission, Diakalidia Konate, said his country is sensitizing its people about the devastating effects of illegal mining. He's optimistic the joint technical meeting will also help with long-lasting solutions to the problem. So basically the, the technical, joint technical committee is going to work and they'll come out with framework agreements and then they will also come out with the work plan for, for the work that the joint committee will be doing and then so that in the next, in the next couple of years that's what's going to guide the work of the joint uh, the, the, the committee.